I would like to introduce to you artist Jen Stark. She's a contemporary artist, which means she's alive and working making art today. She's 33 and lives in Los Angeles, California. She's best known for artwork with bright colors and repeating organic lines, often to look like it's melting. She's created 2D and 3D art. As we can make art to look like hers is by doing these drips using scissors, pencil, glue, and bright colored paper. You're gonna start by drawing a wavy line on the paper. Make sure you are working from the top edge that's straight, and you draw this wavy line that looks like it's melting. Then you're gonna carefully cut it out. I was able to speed this video up using iMovie. I did not cut my paper this fast. If it helps, you can cut to make your large piece of paper smaller. When you do this and cut away from the big piece, it's easier for you to get into those small areas. I'm also using the back part of my scissors where you have more control and just turning that paper. When you're all finished with your first one, you're gonna pick another color and you're going to use the glue stick you only need a little bit of glue. You don't need to roll it the whole way out. You just need a little bit of glue showing. Glue on the back of the piece you just cut out and line up the straight line with a straight line on the paper. Smooth it out and then you're going to cut out a wavy line to match the one on your first paper. You're gonna repeat this over and over again, cutting out that wavy line until you have a paper sculpture that includes at least five pieces of paper. Of course, you can add more and more and more, but you need at least five before you start a new one. I'm gonna keep going, selecting colors of paper as I go to make a color scheme. One of the last things you're going to do is make sure that there's no pieces sticking up and put any glue underneath and then erasing any pencil lines that still are shown. Make sure your name and teacher code go on the back. Clean up your area by rolling the glue stick down just a little bit and putting on the cap. I can't wait to see what you create.